How are you all? I hope you all must be fine, right? So today we are going to read for class 4 Mathematics Olympiad. And in class 4 Mathematics Olympiad, which chapter we are going to read? We are going to start a new chapter that is Perimeter and Area. Okay? So are you all ready for it? Yes? So let's get started. Our first question that is <clears throat> the total length of the boundary of an object is called Option A, perimeter, B, meter, C, peri, D, area. Okay, so in the question it is given the total length of the boundary of an object. It is known as, yes, it is known as perimeter. So here the correct answer is option A, perimeter. So if you are taking a circle, you are taking a square, okay, or taking a rectangle, triangle, Whatever object you take, just the total length of boundary that is the period. Okay? Yes. Coming to the next question. Find the area of square whose side is 12 cm. Option A, 144 square centimeter. B, 144 square meter. C, 14 square centimeter. D, 14 square meter. So, in the question it is given, find the area of square whose side is 12 cm. Okay. So, you know what is the formula for area of the square? Area of the square that is equal to side into side. Okay. That is 12 centimeter into 12 centimeter. So, 12 into 12 that is 144 and centimeter into centimeter that is centimeter square. Okay. Or we tell it as square centimeter. Got it? So, which is the correct answer? Correct answer is option A that is 144 square centimeter. So, students you have to focus on the unit part, right? So, if the side is in centimeter, then the um, answer, the area um, that will be in the square centimeter. And if the side is in meter, then the answer will be for area, it will be square meter. Okay? So, coming to the next question. The perimeter of a square is 28 centimeter. What is the length of one side? Option A, 8 meter. B, 9 centimeter. C, 8 centimeter. D, 5 meter. So, in the question it is asked, the perimeter of a square <coughs> is 28 centimeter. And we have to find the length of one side. So, what is the formula for perimeter of a square? Yes, it is 4 into side. Okay, so perimeter of the square that is 4 into side. So 4 into side, one side that is equal to 28 centimeter that is given in the question. So what will be the length of the one side that is 28 divided by 4, okay, and that is equal to 7 centimeter, okay. So, uh, Okay, so 7 centimeters, so now uh, there is, let us make it 7 centimeters. Okay, so here the correct answer is option C, that is 7 centimeters. Got it everyone? Coming to the next question. Determine the perimeter of the triangle whose sides are 14 plus 16 plus 10 centimeter. Option A, 40 centimeter, B, 10 centimeter. C, 40 meter, D, none of these. So, in the question, it is asked to determine the perimeter of the triangle whose sides are 14 plus 16 plus 10 centimeter. Okay. Uh, you know how to find the perimeter of the triangle. Perimeter uh, means that is covering the total boundary of the triangle. Okay. So, if it is a triangle, we have to find the total boundary of the triangle. Uh, one side is 14 centimeter. Next one is 16 centimeter and the third one is 10 centimeter. So, how to find the perimeter of the triangle? We just need to add them. So, it is 14 centimeter plus 16 centimeter plus 10 centimeter. Okay. And it will be how much? It will be 40 centimeter. Right. So, here unit is in centimeter. So, that uh, unit we need to be careful about that. So, here correct answer is option A that is 40 centimeter. Got it? Coming to the <coughs> next question. 
Find the perimeter of an equilateral triangle of side 9 cm. Option A 27 cm, B 24 cm, C 26 cm, D 25 cm. So we have to find the perimeter of an equilateral triangle whose side is 9 cm. You know what is equilateral triangle? Yes, all the sides are equal, right? Here, all the sides are equal. So, if all the sides are equal, we are um, drawing a uh, triangle. So, each side, it will be 9 cm and we have to find the perimeter. So, how to find the perimeter of this um, equilateral triangle? Yes, we just need to add all the sides. That is 9 plus 9 plus 9 cm or 3 into 9 cm. Okay, so 9 cm plus 9 cm plus 9 cm or 3 into 9 cm that is equal to 27 cm and it is present in option A. Got it? So the correct answer is option A that is 27 cm. Right. Coming to the next question. If area of rectangle 48 square meter and L equal to 6, B equal to how much? Option A 8 meter, B 10 meter, C 9 meter, D 7 meter. So we have to find the area of area of the rectangle we know that is 48 square meter. Okay. So area that is equal to 48 square meter. Length given that is equal to 6 meter. We have to find the B. And for the rectangle, what is the formula for area? Area equal to length into breadth. Or directly it is given. Or we can write L into <coughs> B. So, how to find B? Yes, it is equal to area divided by L. So, area that is 48 square meter by L that is 6 meter. So, it is equal to 8 meter. So, here the correct answer is option A that is 8 meter. Okay. Coming to the next question. Find the perimeter of the following structure. Okay. Uh, so, here we have a structure. One side is 2 cm, another is 2 cm, then 4 cm, then 3 cm. And we have to find the perimeter. And the options given are option A 10 cm, B 12 cm, C 11 cm, D 13 cm. So, how to find the perimeter? Yes. So, perimeter uh, that is we just need to add all the sides. So, 2 cm plus 2 cm plus 4 cm plus 3 cm. Okay. So, it will be 11 cm. Got it everyone? Just we need to add them. So, correct answer is option C that is 11 cm. Okay. Yes. Coming to the next question. Find the perimeter of this structure. Okay. So, here the structure is um, a rectangle is given. The sides are given 8 cm, 2 cm, 2 cm and uh, 8 cm. So, option A that is uh, 20 cm, B 16 cm, C 30 cm, D 10 cm and how we can find the perimeter of this? We just need to add them. Okay. So, the perimeter of this given structure, uh, let us start from 8, okay? 8 centimeter, then we will take that 2 centimeter, then again 8 centimeter, then again 2 centimeter. So, if we add, what will be the answer? It will be 20 centimeter, right? Yes. So, here the correct answer is option A, that is 20 centimeter. Got it, everyone? Coming to the next question, if area area is to 14 square centimeter then perimeter is to how much option a 15 centimeter 16 centimeter 17 centimeter then option d 18 centimeter okay so what we need to do here here area <coughs> given is 14 square centimeter and we have to find the perimeter 
so area is 14 square centimeter that is the total area okay so how this is happening uh, all the boxes are 1 square centimeter is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 total 14 squares are there each square um, that is the area of the each square that is 1 square centimeter so the 14 squares we have it is 14 square centimeter right that means all the sides of the square that will be 1 centimeter all the sides of the square that is 1 centimeter right so now we have to um, add the sides here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 this one 9 10 11 12 13 here 14 15 16 17 8 so total is 8 but it, we just need to check uh, whatever size we are getting. Just and uh, each side is 1 cm. So we can count all the sides, right? So it will be total 18 cm. So what is the answer? Answer is option D. <coughs> Sorry, that is 18 cm. But it, coming to the next question, if perimeter of one uh, small square centimeter, uh, one small square is 4 meter, then what is the area of the whole figure? Okay, so uh, the perimeter of one small square is 4 meter. So if the perimeter of one small square, perimeter um, um, that is uh, for square it is 4 into side. So 4 into side that is 4 meter. That means each side equal to 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1 meter each side equal to 1 meter. So, what will be the area? Yes, area of the square that is we know side into side, right? So, side into side that is equal to 1 meter into 1 meter that is equal to 1 square meter. That means a 1 that a small square that area is 1 square meter. And how many small squares are there? It is here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, how many squares are there? Yes, it is 14, total 14 number of squares are there. Each square area 1 square meter. So, for the area of 14 squares, that is equal to 14 into 1 equal to 14 square meter. Okay. So, here the correct answer is option A, that is 14 square meter. Got it everyone? So, this much for today's session. Let's meet you in the next session. Till then, read mindfully, practice all the questions properly. Okay. So, meet you soon. Bye-bye everyone.